week into uh, camp, everything the way you figured it would, or any surprises? What uh, what's shaking? No, I think we just uh, have to wait and see how it goes when the game starts. How anxious are you to get out there and actually see your team play for the first time? Well, I think it's always good to play against somebody else. We I mean, scrimmage against each other for a week uh, to see the other teams and see how we, where we are and how you can measure your team. I think it's always good. You've seen him play against the other guys for 10 days. Do you have a sense yet of how Brandon's going to be when he's out against uh, live competition, late turn? No, I think that's it's going to be good to, to watch him. You know, I think uh, uh, he's uh, going to get a good test tonight. They have some long people, some good defense, defensive team. and uh, So, you know, I think all of our guys see how they all fit in together. He said you seem to be maybe softening on and your stance not to play him back-to-back -back on Friday and Saturday. Well, it's exhibition. <laughs> you know, you got to see a lot of people. So I, I think it's, uh, uh, you know, we'll just see how the game goes tonight. Then we'll make a decision on uh, over the weekend what we do. I talk a little about uh, Alexei Shved. What have you seen from him so far, and what do you think he can add to the team? Well, he's he's a good offensive player. He's he's uh, shoot the ball very well. Uh, it's a different story when you get out in, in the game. You know, and see how he performs in the game, and uh, but he's shown signs that he's a solid offensive player, and defensively will tell uh, where he's at because in our league, you know, you have to defend. You get a sense with the guys you added that you, Kevin won't have to carry as much of the load as he did last year. Well, that's what you hope for. You have a lot more balance, but you know, a lot of what happened to us last year was we had so many injuries. Uh, hopefully, we're a little bit deeper this year, uh, but you know, he's still uh, a huge part of our team and. Uh, we're going to rely on him a lot, but you hope you have other, enough firepower he doesn't have to do as much. Is the first two months almost biting time until Ricky gets back, find out what your team is, when, and then Rubio gets back in the lineup? You don't buy time in this league. You get buried. Uh, we can't worry about Ricky, where he is, or when he's coming back. Our guys who are healthy now and are playing now uh, have to do the job for us. You know, And if he comes back and, and uh, approaches where he was last year, it's just going to be a, that much of a plus for us. With, with Brandon, will you play him more than other starters to, to get to get a read on him, or do you be careful no, with him more? I think you'll see the starters play the first uh, three quarters for the most part, and then I'll see how the where we are at the end of the third quarter. But I think we'll pretty much you know we play three and four nights, so it's uh, it's not like we have a couple days off or anything. Where do you expect to see uh, Alexei tonight? Is he going to play a little point guard and shooting guard, or what is he? Yeah, I have no idea. We'll see how it goes. I don't know what fouls will be or anything else, but I think what my plan is try to play him at the two and you know, not, not overwhelm him too much. What have you seen out of Kirilenko? Is he back to the form he was a couple years ago in the oh, NBA? Yeah. He's a very solid player. You know, he, people. Uh, it's funny people act like he fell off the face of the earth last year. You know, he played over in Russia and had a great year. So I. You know, he knows how to play. He knows what his strengths are. And uh, he's, um, with our team especially, he really gives us some uh, uh, defensive presence out there. Who's your uh, backup point guard today? <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to play Will uh, behind uh, JJ. But that doesn't mean I won't play Alexi, but I don't want to play him, you know, totally at the point guard. You know, but today, tonight, I think I'll just play Will. Our playoffs are real. It's a realistic expectation for this team. Going into the first exhibition game, it's <laughs> a long ways away. You know, I, you know that's always a goal of everybody. But you can't. There's a lot of work to be done between now and playoffs, and so I don't. I haven't even seen us play against other teams yet, so I, it's hard to tell. You know, we obviously stumbled to the end of last year, and we're going to have to see how we are. Consistency will tell us whether we're going to be there or not. What are a couple of things you like about this team right now, going into the first game? Exhibition We're game. undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> you know, compared to a year uh, ago, going into the start of the season. It's a different team. It's a totally different team. We, you know, we, we went in last year just flying into it, not knowing anybody. Uh, you know, uh, we were starting a totally different group. You know, I think uh, of the people you're seeing starting tonight, uh, one guy was on that starting group. It's a totally different team. It's a, I think it's a better offensive team, better passing and shooting team, but time will tell. Uh, uh, so it's, it's hard to judge that. We're going to talk about the demands of, uh, of Kevin Love and what the additions you have, the, the fact that you've got a little bit more balance and maybe don't expect as much out of Kevin. Well, expect whatever he can give us, but I, I think it's, we do have, I think, more people who can score the ball and 
and maybe we can go to certain people. But again, um, that's all on paper, and paper always looks really good. You can plan it on paper, but let's see what happens when we actually get on the court. But he's certainly one of the best players in the league, and we're going to rely on him heavily, even though hopefully it won't be as much. You talked about uh, defensively, and, and last year, fourth quarter, you were one of the better teams defensively. How do you carry that over in quarters one through three? Well, we were in the first 40 games, and then we really dropped off after the injuries. But uh, that's probably going to be the biggest thing. We're going to find out. So, like I said, it's, it's a totally different team than we had last year. and uh, We think we can be a good team defensively uh, because we have smart players. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to really work together. And that's going to be something. When you start playing games against other people, uh, you start exposing yourself a little bit more, and then you can hit home with your team as to what you have to do. Uh, the way we play offensively, sometimes it's hard to gauge where you are defensively because, you know, we move the ball and, and it's it's an offensive group, and so it's it's really difficult to tell until you actually get it's other teams. Perfect. Thanks.